Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss difference between process and thread. So process is actually program in execution. When we execute a program, that actually require a lot of resources like CPU, registers, stack, and if that program or that program actually needs some files so in that case files as well so all these things combinedly known as process so let's say we are having a program in C we have written that program and we have executed so I'm just uh, writing that that prof uh, program is performing some task so let's say task 1 after that task 2 task 3 and so on and this is the beginning of program so when you execute your program in C so the path of execution the path of execution will be like this one this portion will be executed so when this task 1 is completed then task 2 then task 3 and so on so it will be a one after another Okay, task 2 cannot be executed until this one will be finished or you can say that in your process uh, um, need to not to down that we are taking only a process with single thread so in this process there is only one executor what is the meaning of executor like in your C program if you return some statement like this so first this statement will be executed then this one then this one then this one okay because there is only one executor okay that executor first execute this statement then this one then this one and then this one now if we look at the thread so the definition you will read in your textbook is thread is independent path of execution now we are taking the same program and uh, we have actually optimized this program what we have done we have used multi threading capability and we have created multiple threads to perform multiple tasks so in this case I am taking only three threads so thread 1 so how thread 1 will execute thread 1 will execute thread 1 will come here it will execute task 1 and that's it thread 1 objective is done thread 2 so let me name it T1 thread 1 thread 2 will be assigned task 2 and it will be out and thread 3 thread 3 will execute task 3 and out so as you can see the path of execution is different T1 executing task 1 and then out the path of execution of T2 is different and here this is also different so as you can see the path they all are having they are all are following different path because we actually use multiple thread for multiple tasks so that's why that's the reason why this thread denoted with this symbol so for that this is only arrow so because the every thread follow a different path or independent path they are not depending on one another it depend on the way you have programmed so thread independent path of execution so the meaning of this line is actually this one so now in this case when you execute your program there will be three threads or you can say three executor so when you are having three executor executor one will be executing task one it will be executing task two it will be executing task three so all these tasks are being executed at the same time so this is the difference between process and 
that's right uh, let me take one simple real life example let's say we are having a grocery shop so in this sh sh shop there is only a single person to handle all the tasks now if this person is billing for some customer and at the same time some other customer came and asking him for some details at that time this person cannot handle those customers because there is only a single person okay uh, he can handle only one task at a time now in multi threading case the same grocery shop but with three person okay now one person can do billing one person can do can handle customers and this person can do other tasks so three tasks can be done at the same time but here one by one only single task at a time so this is actually the difference between process and thread thank you very much for watching